We are back with Tony winner and Oscar nominated star Andrew Garfield. He is using his many, many talents, some newly discovered in the new film called Tick, Tick, Boom. It's, he's, he's starring as the creator of the musical Rent, Jonathan Larson, and it's based on the autobiographical musical of the same name. It follows John's life as a young theater composer in the 90s, struggling to finish his boundary breaking musical. Andrew, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know what I love about you? Yes. Like, Tell so, me. Okay. so here's the thing. You say you don't know how to sing. You don't know how to play piano. Lin-Manuel Miranda says, hey, I think you might be the right guy for my, my movie. And you say, how long is it going to be till we start filming? Because you're planning to learn those things. Well, yeah, like any good actor, I, I lie on my CV. <laughs> and he says, you know, I want you to do this. And I say... Well, how long? Yeah, how long do you need? And and he says, well, a year. And I'm like, yeah, I can probably do do that kind of stuff in a year. Sure. Yeah, I can ride a horse. I can sing. I can play piano. I can yeah, do all. So this you stuff. learned it all. You learned how to play piano and sing in that year's time. I did, <laughs> and what a privilege that is. And 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 like you know how lucky I am that I got to do it through this amazing man's music, Jonathan Larson's music, and so so much undiscovered music as well. And there there are songs in this musical that people are going to be surprised by, even people who are big fans oh. of Jonathan Larson. So yes. Yeah, so. Of, of all people to say that to, Lin-Manuel yeah. Miranda, I mean, Broadway <laughs> legend, and you're, like, kind of riffing, sure, I can sing. Yeah. There was a moment I read that he came and watched one of your rehearsals mm -hmm. he singing. Snuck in. Because he, was mm -hmm. he thinking, like, all right, I got to make sure he actually can oh, sing. I yeah. might have to yeah. recast this role. Oh, of course, because he didn't—he didn't want to be haunted by the ghost of, of Jonathan Larson for the rest of his <laughs> life. Going, Why did you let this person play me? Um, so yeah, I was rehearsing with um, his one of his music um, his music people, Kurt Crowley, who's an amazing um, person, and I was doing the first couple of phrases of the first number, thirty ninety. And it was just me and Kurt alone in a room, or so I thought. But Lynn had kind of snuck, snuck in. in. Oh. And uh, the first I knew of that was that uh, his shoe flew across my face. <laughs> and then he was looking at me so happy and excited, and he shouted at me. He was like, Andrew Garfield, you can sing, and I do oh. not have to recast you. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. He was more relieved than you. Oh, totally, uh, yeah. Wow. So then we were kind of off to the races. I knew when the shoe flew, we were in a, in a good place. Is that like a thing? To throw that, a shoe, that is that's like a good sign? It's a weird Lin-Manuel Miranda. I don't think it's a theater thing. I don't think oh. it's a musical theater. I think it's just a Lin-Manuel Lin Miranda thing. thing. Like, when, when he's upset, in a good way and angry at you for yeah. being good. good. Yes, he'll yeah. take his shoe off, he'll put ah. it somewhere, or he'll throw it, or, yeah, it's Well, it I was, like it. it. It's a spectacular performance, Thank and you. I thought what made it even more touching was you just, you dedicated this performance of you ha as you had others to your mom who passed away not too long ago. Yeah, and yeah. you just were telling me and Savannah, you love to talk about her. Yeah, I, if I, I only want to talk about her now because, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think grief is all the unexpected, unexpressed love. I mm. think that's what it feels. Mm. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Look yeah. at that gorgeous. She loved that green jumpsuit. That yeah. was like, she felt really powerful in that green jumpsuit. It was the kind of thing she wouldn't usually wear. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, so for me, it's it, grief is unexpressed love. So, and I'm never going to be able to ex express fully the love that I have for my, for my mother, the gratitude I have. That, that I got given the best mother around. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's a never ending. And, and for John, you know, for me, it's like we all leave this life with an unfinished song, no matter, no matter how much of our song we get out. It's never going to be fully done. And, and it was the same for my mother. So I get, to, I get to continue singing her song for her in my life. And, um, and, and I get to do it through, through John's unfinished song as well uh, for all of us. So I, I just, it's, I'm, I feel very, very lucky. Well, other than Lin-Manuel Miranda, she was the, really the first yeah. one to discover you and yeah. your talent. And seeing that maybe drama and acting, yeah. maybe that was going to be your calling. Yeah, she that's saw right. that in she you. She did, even though she was destined, making me maybe destined for a life of poverty. <laughs> as, a, as an out-of-work actor, she, she, she was like, I'd rather my son be happy than... Um, than, than rich or than, um, you know, within the status quo, you know. I, yeah, I was, I, was, I was an athlete and then I gave that up and then I was studying academia and I kind of didn't connect with the mm -hmm. things that were being presented to me in this kind of provincial place that I was brought up in the south of England. And it was her that really saw that I was struggling and said, well, why don't you look at something creative? And mm -hmm. I was like, well, I tried clay molding and I wasn't very good and I tried <laughs> painting and I wasn't very good. I tried music and I was fine. And yeah. then it was the last thing I tried was theatre. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and she, she kind of hung in there with me um, and, and was the first person to put me on that kind of path. So I'm indebted to her forever. Wow. Well, you know they're talking Oscar buzz for your performance. Yes, I don't they know if are. that embarrasses you or pleases you to hear. Yeah. 
suppose. Would you rather <laughs> would you rather me take a shoe and throw it at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I would much rather be knocked out okay. by your high heel right Wait, now. Wait, we do have to ask you about Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Everybody's you know saying, we have to. Everybody's saying there, you may be in it. There's a cameo. Why don't you just go ahead and confirm? Go ahead. <laughs> if, I, if I just make it easy. I let's love just, that. Let's just end it right now. Why are, speculate? You guys are really good at your jobs, but I'm better at mine. <laughs> I, um, no, I listen. I, I, I'm not in the film. I, I love Spider-Man. I always have. I was so happy to, to, to have played the part. And, and I'm so excited to see what they do with the third one, just like uh -huh. you guys are, to be uh, honest. Okay. No, that's not like a diplomatic answer. Yeah. Like, I really, really mean it. Like, I love Tom Holland. Yeah. I love John Watts. I love Emmy Pascal and Kevin Feige and what they've done with those movies and that character, because it's, you know, it's an important character to me. So I'm just really excited to see what happens in the third one, as you guys are, I can Andrew, see as well. Well you done, Andrew. You are a delight. Thank you Thanks, so Andrews. much, and congratulations yeah. on all your success. Thank you so and much. And new talent. Yes, right. indeed. Tick, tick, boom, by the way, in select theaters right now, streaming on Netflix this Friday. And we should mention that Lin-Manuel Miranda will join us live on Thursday. That'll be a riot. That'll yeah. be fun, yeah. too. It'll yeah. be a good way. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.